Well, hi, Trey. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Fine. Um, I'm with Celebrity Chair Magazine, and we were interested um, because we know that you're working with some foundations, especially yeah. with literacy. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to know a little bit about it, and we also wanted to know what you're doing. Okay. Um, what you're up to these days, and what attracted you to the foundation, mm -hmm. um, and, and future plans on charities, foundations, what you're trying right. to do. Well, actually, um, you know, my nonprofit organization, the, the founder is Cyrus Webb, who's a partner of mine out in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Cyrus reached out to me just because, first of all, he was a fan of The Wire. And um, he heard that I had a book out. I have okay. a book out. And the name of the book is called The Truth You Can't Betray. And it focuses on, you know, really trying to get young people as well as adults to, like, strive for their dream. Mm -hmm. So the program is called the Right Stuff Literacy Program. Okay. And our motto is take time to read every day. Okay. So, you know, when he reached out to me saying that I had a book out, he was like, you know, I, I want to see if you can partner with me and be like the national spokesperson. But I got way more involved than just being a national spokesperson. Like me and him partnered up. Okay. And you know, we just visit different schools around the country. I'm from DC, so we visit different schools in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Okay. And then, you know, a couple of schools in Mississippi and just everywhere where we can really go in and, and, and read, you know, a book or some type of literature that um, you know, young people can can relate to just to kind of like encourage them that it is a need to read more because you need that in life, you know. Right. When did you start with the foundation? Well, actually, we started with the foundation. It was it had to be like two and a half years ago. Okay. Yeah, I met Cyrus back in two thousand nine. Okay. So um, it, it's it actually be uh three years in two thousand twelve January. So um, yeah, so I started with, yeah I started with him two and a half years ago, and we just been you know we just been rolling ever since. Okay. Well, it sounds like a good charity, good foundation. Mm -hmm. You interested in others? Yeah. Um, actually, you know, I'm, I'm doing this whole mentoring thing right now through my company, Cheney Vision, where it's actually trying to, you know, help young men and women to just empower them more because there's so much negativity going on in the world today. Okay. And, um, you know, just really just trying to get them off the street and do different activities. I got a, a, another friend of mine by the name of John Tate. We have this thing called the Solution Project. Okay. And um, we, we actually trying to get a program started where we going inside the schools and whether any form of entertainment, you know, working with the young people to like, f as far as I'm concerned, you know, I do the old film and TV thing. Right. So it's like I got a camera crew now and we, um, okay. we can be in the schools teaching them how to operate with the cameras, how to shoot movies, how to write scripts. And on the music side, you know, we could be working with young up and coming artists, you know. In the area. Yeah, in the area they they wanna pursue music or, you know, dance and act and any any form of entertainment. Okay, because I do I do know that you were getting into the music and mm -hmm. so share with me what kind of things you're getting and what kind of projects other yeah. than the ones you mentioned that you're working um, on. Um actually yeah, I'm working on an album right now. I have a mixtape out, it's called Jack of All Trades. It's it's sort of like an album that me and my partner Don Cox put together. Um, you know, he produced the whole thing. I, me, him, and the partner, my name, Jerome, wrote it. And it, it, it's hip-hop music. Okay. And, um, it's just talking about real-life situations. And, and, and I try to stay, stay away from the, you know, the, the cars and the clothes and the jewelry. I just want to really get into the whole, you know, the, the whole aspect of what, what's going on in, in my life. Right. With, with so somebody else can relate to it. And then, like I said, I got the book out on I'm doing right. like book tours and you know the truth you can't betray is doing well. Okay. It's available on Amazon.com. All right. And um it's been getting well received and a couple of movies coming out this year with uh Clifton Powell. This this okay. movie called yeah, Dead really Money is me, Clifton Powell, and um Starletta the Boss who played in uh uh Friday, Friday after next. Okay. And um I got a new movie that's uh, premiering in the Philadelphia Film Festival October 21st called Streets. And okay. I'm starring a good friend of mine, Meek Mills, who's an up-and-coming rapper, okay. signing to uh, Maybach Music. So, you know, I'm just I'm just staying busy. Okay. Well, how about, let me ask you this. How did mm -hmm. you even get into um, with The Wire? Because that's when you first started yeah. working. Or were you working on things before The Wire? Well, actually, you know, before The Wire, you know, my background is, is an R&B and hip-hop dancer. I started dancing at the age of eight years old. Okay. All the way through, like, middle school, high school. That's kind of like when I caught the acting bug. Mm -hmm. I took drama class in Fallsville High School. That's where I graduated from. Oh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I caught the acting bug there. And um, I, I decided to go ahead and submit some pictures because mm -hmm. I knew you had to get pictures. You, my resume consisted of just a dancing background, but I submitted it to the lady, Linda Townsend. Okay. You know, she's in Clinton, Maryland. 
And um, once I submitted it to her, mm -hmm. the first job, first acting gig she ever submitted me for was The Wire. Oh, yeah, okay. and I, I just, you know, I was fortunate right enough away, to go right. in there with Pat Moran, who who's responsible for casting me. Mm -hmm. You know, I was I was fortunate enough to go in there and, and read, and you know, I, I was casted. In in January, it will actually be our ten year anniversary because The Wire premiered in two thousand two. Okay. So January two thousand twelve. 10 year anniversary, we got a whole lot of magazines reaching out to us now to do interviews because you know, The Wire, it, it wasn't just a show that, that touched Baltimore City, but it, it, it touched the whole world, right. you know, it it, and, it, and it hit pop culture too, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So everyone is real excited, all races around the country, you know, we we doing some big things over in Europe now because it's, it's blowing up over in Europe, so okay. we, we're talking about taking a couple of trips over there as well. Well, it sounds like you got a lot going on. Good positive thing, yeah, which is busy. one of the reasons why the magazine wants to, you know, do something with you. And no of course, with the literacy and the charity and foundations, we're always looking for positive things that people are doing. Yeah. So um, we were very honored to be able to interview you um, and keep up what you're doing. It's good stuff. We'll do. <laughs>